Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the team of the season moments, Mane to check out. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is five foot nine, high medium work rates, right footed, five star skills, a four star weak foot. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. The big difference between this card and uh, the flashback version of his card is the fact that they've now given him that five star skill move to work with because the card before was a four star, four star player, right? So uh, with the five star skill moves, it definitely does add to the card um, and the price difference at the end of the day, the five star skills is really, really important guys. Like even Leon, it's the same situation, right? Like people were on Twitter and they were like, oh, but the World Cup version is like 300K, whereas the player of the month is like 70K. But the five star skills is super important to have in this game, right? So uh, with Mane, have, having all of those things, uh, traits in game, he has the outside foot shot, speed dribbler, a flare traits, as well as the team player traits, right? Uh, with the chemistry style in game, we're going to be giving him the Hawk chemistry style, right? Boost the pace, shooting, and physicality of the card because the other areas of the card is really well formatted, right? He's going to have Perfect pace. His shooting is going to be pretty much close to perfect, which is definitely a W. Uh, passing on the card also going to be in a very good area. That with a four star weak foot, 90 for composure. Definitely very helpful to have in any of the attacking positions. Okay. Uh, dribbling. Going to be all in the 90s area with a 99 for agility. So that with a five star skill move, unique body type could be really cool to work with. But obviously we have to test that out in game. Uh, heading accuracy, he has 96 heading accuracy with 99 jumping. So if you use a card like this in the side positions, right, and you have like get into the box or cross for some, like for your left wing or right wing or whatever it is, right, and you want to score a header, he's actually going to be capable of hitting those bad boys, right? Uh, and then with the Hawk, you also give him extra aggression to work with the pace that he has with an 84 for strength. So a lot of very, very interesting variables to work with. So uh, guys, with Mane, we're going to be trying him out in different ways. Obviously, uh, we are trying out some different players here. We have a 4-3-3 formation where we're going to be playing him in the right wing position uh, for the most part, because obviously strong from the strong side as much as possible. You guys know me. Um, and the instructions for this will only be come back in the fence, get into the box of the cross, right? So we'll see how he kind of performs uh, with those sort of uh, instructions. So yeah, we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Ah, oh, man. Good try, good try. Oh, Goretzka. Nice. Who does well under pressure too? Oh, nice try. Oh, man, if he wasn't offside, that would have been a really, really good play. Nice job, Mane. He got too close. Unlucky. No, come on, man. Shoot! 
shoot! I, you guys can see my command, man. You could see it, guys. You could see my command, please. And I still score. Listen, they did a good job with this card, man. They did a good job with this card. This gameplay responsiveness is absolutely horrible, but they did a good job with this card. Thank you, Mane. Oh, it's close. That was close. Give me that. Okay, Mane. Tap shot. Oh, okay. I was like, hmm. I don't know if it's going to work here, but tap shot's the best bet. No! We're back in it. Oh, beat him. I almost got some jam right there. I'm not going to lie. Almost got some jam. Look at that. Use the physical presence, my boy. I like it. I like it. That's what you look for right there. Now that we got the skill moves on my boy Mane, you know how that goes. Got the quickness about him, man. Nice. Good goal, boys. Good stuff. I was using the wrong formation the whole time. <laughs> I had a feeling. I'm like, why is it moving this way? No, man. Gosh. Nice. Pass off. Yeah. Let's go, Joshua. Bro, using this guy as the attacking oriented center mid is sick. Oh, I missed. I'm, I shouldn't be doing that skill move, but I had a feeling they're going to use some sort of manual goalkeeping. Give me that. Ah, I almost got it. Hey, you know what? We could use that for a highlight on Cobell, eh? <laughs> Let's go. Beautiful play, boys. Beautiful. I like it. I like it. Nah, nothing. Can save by Cole Bill there. Oh, the other guy, yeah. I'll beat the two, but the other guy will just be chillin'. Oh, this guy's still defending for me, eh? Look at this. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, he took me out, dude. 
He took me out. Yep, just have to work that small space. That's why the five star skill moves is king, my boy. There it is. Beauty. Absolute beauty. Joshua getting involved in the attack as well. Oh, if the, if the pass was like really well weighted, I could have done like a heel to heel in that situation. I, 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 guys, I don't know why they do side footed shots, man. I could not tell you why they do side footed shots. But thank you, Goretzka, for being well positioned for that. Oh, I tried to cancel it, but it didn't register. That was a really fast skill move. Like, super, super fast. I actually might get this with Goretzka. First time. Yeah. I had a feeling, because he has the weak foot for it, right? So... Reska's got the reach for that bad boy. Oh, uh, and it was it was an accelerated touch anyways, because when he starts pulling out the goalie, they do accelerated touches. I timed that really well against the goalie. Good finish, Mane. Good finish. Ah, never know. Sometimes it goes around a player. Uh, listen, he scores it, right? But um, where's the defensive play? I don't know. It goes right through my player there, so. Very fast, eh? Very, very fast. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good finish. Did you defend that? Okay. I think he tackled the guy and my own player. Ah, oh, man. Close, though. Oh, if I didn't score that, that would have been annoying. Because that was sick. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the team of the season moments, Sadio Mane. So, guys, the card's pretty solid. I actually enjoyed using him a lot. Um, I think the improvements uh, that they did to this card were definitely very, very nice. Um, I feel like if you take a look at the, you know, the flashback compared to the team of the season version, the plus twos, it's nice to have that difference, okay? It is, because it, it's giving it to pretty much everything, which I feel like it does make a nice difference. But the biggest difference is obviously the fact that he has five-star skills now. Five-star skills 
in this game, guys, is very, very important to work with, okay? When you are playing in the top tier divisions and people are parking the bus, you need to be able to have those skill moves to break past defense, right? In his case, because he's an explosive player, these types of cards are usually my favorite to use. Why? Because we're talking about quickness from attacking AI, and we're also talking about really good playstyle in general, right? So the fact that I can give him the Hawk chemistry style and then, you know, specifically use him in those side positions or even as my striker because he can play that role really well too. It's great. The dribbling comes off great. The shooting comes off great. The passing is well weighted. Uh, the dribbling of the card is perfectly fine. It works really well with his five foot nine height at a unique body type for this card at this point in the game, you know, and if I get myself in a situation where, you know, I cross the ball and I go for a header, that would also be a really good thing to work with too. But obviously for the crosses, crosses happen once in a while. It has to be like in a really, really obvious situation for you to score those opportunities. Most of the opportunities that I find myself in are, you know, scoring with the ball on my feet. I rarely score headers, to be honest with you guys. Like with headers, like there's cards that are obviously really good at hitting them. But the cross and the way the defense has to come off, it is, that part of it is random, right? Like the only time where having good heading capabilities is like a really, really important thing, honestly, is usually from like if you have to do a goal kick and your player has to win the ball initially in the air, that's great, right? So if I have Mane playing in the side positions or through the middle, winning that ball in the air is very important because pressure tactic situation in this game is ridiculous, right? So being able to win that is amazing. But it's also from you know being able to win the ball in the air from that corner kick tactic right that's gonna be another big one too but at that point you use center backs instead of money because they're taller players that would be that will be able to hit those a little bit more consistently right like i don't really go for like a far post cross to score a header unless the player is like very physical oriented it's kind of like the only play style that you can do um with him right so um yeah, it's, it's a great card. Really, really good. Obviously, if any of you guys get lucky enough to pack him, he's going to be a fantastic card to work with in pretty much any of the attacking positions. It doesn't really matter where you play him specifically. He's really good at anything. Like, he's got the proper attacking AI on the explosive, all that good stuff. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.